to another video. This time, I'm going to be making how to get the black box using Mac or Linux. If you want to make sure that your files are safe, then I suggest copying your current files onto the cloud before starting this tutorial. So we're going to be using um, Mac and Linux. This also works for Windows if um, Horizon didn't work for Windows. This also would work for Windows, but this is mainly for Mac and Linux. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your dashboard. Gonna wait for it to load. After it's done loading, which is right now, you go all the way to the right, system, storage, then you go onto your hard drive slash whatever you keep it on after it's done loading. So you go onto your hard drive or whatever you keep all your game um, save on, and you go all the way down and you find Skate 3. You go onto your skater and copy it to your USB. So then what you're going to do is you're going to unplug your USB and plug it into your computer. Okay guys, I'm going to take over here. This is Nitro's dad. This is a little complex, so that's why I'm going to step in and give this description. Um, the first thing we're going to do is take the USB key and plug it into the, to the Mac. These instructions will work for Mac and it'll be pretty close for Linux. If you're a pretty savvy Linux user, you should be able to get things done. Uh, at any rate, the USB key we have is called No Name. So I'm going to actually navigate via the terminal and go into um, the USB key. So CD into Volumes, No Name. There's a hidden folder called Content. You can't see that folder unless you're coming in through the, the terminal or if you've actually enabled uh, showing all files on your Mac. Most of us haven't, so we'll go in this way. Um, there's a folder E something something, and then we just keep hitting Tab until we get to the 00001 folder. Hit Enter there, and if we do LS, we can see our alias skater there. I'm going to copy this alias skater over to the desktop just to make things a little easier on us. So it's going to go to Users, My Username, and then to the Desktop, and kaboom, there we go. Alright, so the other thing we need to do now is we'll go back into the Desktop here, back here a little bit. We uh, first have to download a couple items onto our Mac to get things going. Uh, one of which is the alias Skater. And you want to download that into your downloads file and then into folder and then extract it. It doesn't matter how, what process you use it. Just be careful with this uh, media fire because it will want to try to stuff things onto your computer that you don't need. So what I like to do is just download the file and don't do anything with it through the browser and then go into the downloads folder and act upon it there. Um, the other thing you want to download is Velocity. And Velocity is like Horizon, but it's for Mac, and it's an open source tool that um, is pretty much abandonware now, I think. And it, this one is compiled for, for the Mac. So you can click the downloads here. Again, just download the DMG file to your Mac and then install that through your Mac OS. I'm not going to go into how to install uh, an application from the web on a Mac OS, but suffice it to say, I've checked this. It doesn't have viruses. And just be safe and smart about how you install that. Um, switching over now to um, our finder and in our downloads folder that extra window there. in our downloads folder I've created a folder called extracted and here's our zip file that we downloaded I'm just going to double click it through the Mac OS and this is a pretty safe way to get that file from Mediafire out this is also called alias skater it's the same thing that we had copied onto the USB key so in the middle here, to make this thing um, modified, we're going to go to the Velocity app. So I'm going to run the Velocity app. And I can show it to you up close here. On... Okay, so there's Velocity. 
and you'll see that it comes up with just this window and we can close this window no big deal two things we need to drag and drop into velocity we need to drag and drop the extracted file that we just got from the web that's on, I'm going to put it on the right side and we want our alias skater that we copied to the desktop I'm going to put that on the left side Okay. so I recognize Nitro's profile as being this one on the left because I recognize his device ID what we're going to do is copy the profile ID over to the target downloaded file and we want to copy the device ID over to the downloaded file. When we're done with that we can close our copy from the desktop and I'm gonna do a couple extra clicks here because I've done this a couple times and it seems to like this. I'm gonna click on the metadata which I, I don't know if you saw that click with this, this metadata tab and just gonna click save. Just a little ritualistic thing. I don't think it does anything. Then I'm gonna re rehash and resign. This will do something. This writes out our changes to the file that's in our extracted folder. Okay. When with this done, I can then file quit velocity, and he's gone. I'm gonna go back to terminal. In the terminal, I need to go over to the downloads folder, which is under users my user, downloads, and extract it. And I can see I have my alias skater there. I'm going to copy my alias skater into volumes. My USB key's name is no, no name. The E crazy folder, I'm sorry, content, that's the hidden folder. Then the easy e crazy number tab tab till I see zero 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 one. I'm going to copy this file into there. Now if I go look in the volume, it's actually going to go. It actually has a hidden file it copied on there. And from what we have found is if you delete that file, you will not have a proper um, alias on the USB key. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to cd out of there and I'm gonna now eject the USB drive and I'm gonna hand it back to Nitro Link. okay so once you have done all the stuff on the computer um, unplug your USB from your Mac slash Linux and put it into your Xbox and then go all the way to the right of your Xbox I think this works with Xbox one too uh, go into settings, system, storage, go into your USB storage device, go into your games and apps, and do not get scared of this ex exclamation point. It is your other file that got corrupted. You can go ahead and delete that file now and take your 9 mig uh, file and copy it back onto your hard drive. Uh, click press yes and then it will start copying then there you go you got yourself a black box from from Linux and Mac so once you load up skate 3 you'll see you have the black box Okay, so once you've loaded up skates, you'll see you have this skater. It is a complete same from the horizon. It's the same file. But then you, but then you, you got yourself a black box on skate 3. There you go. It works. The black box is right here as your number 1. You got number 2, which is this. Number three, which is your New York board thing. And number four, as your Cookie Monster board graphic. And in order to get that green on, all you have to do is you need to rotate it down and put it on green. That's how you use it. Uh, yeah. So, I hope this helped. If this video helped you, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more content from my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all next time. And I'm out.